This short video explains how to work with test points in Proteus. You can place test points on the schematic using a test point terminal. These are automatically annotated and packaged with the test point footprint on the layout. Alternatively, you can simply designate any pad or fire as a test point directly on the layout. Test points are governed by rules specified in the Design Rule Manager. Here we can restrict the side of the board for test points, the minimum size required of a test point pad, and the minimum distance between test point pads. The package associated with the test point terminal can also be changed here. A test point coverage strategy can also be set up from this dialog. We can require test points on all nets, or more commonly, set minimum requirements on a net class basis. The workflow for test points on the layout starts in connectivity highlight mode with the test point filter selected. This shows a list of all nets and test points and will also show non-compliant nets when a test point coverage strategy has been set up. Double clicking on an entry will highlight the net with any existing test points shown in yellow. To designate additional test points on the net, simply right click on a pad or via and specify from the context menu. Then move on to the next non-compliant net and repeat the process. If you prefer, you can also place terminals and then place the wire dedicated test point on the layout. The Project Notes Reporting module contains a dedicated test point report. This will detail not only the location of all the test points on the board, but also the test point coverage strategy and compliance status where appropriate. You can also create an easily formatable test point CSV file from the output menu and produce a dedicated test point plot from the print command. Additional information on test point usage can be found in the main PCB help file.